Now, 4WARN Weather with Exact Track 4D Radar. Exclusive technology for the most up-to-the-minute weather information in your neighborhood. All right, Kim is back to talk about a hot October, and there's more of the way. I put my summer clothes away. You know me. And I was like, I'm bringing back that bright orange dress. We're so on the same page. I was just going to say that. I'm like, you had to pull it back out. Yeah, I did. I did, because I'm like, I'm not going to do that fall thing. It was too thing. early. You know that. You can't put that stuff away now. I don't know now. what I was thinking. I know. I had to steam it. It was a little wrinkled. It was in the back of the closet. I'll tell you that. Well, you're, you're going to put it back in the back of the closet unless you wear it again tomorrow, because after that, it's going to cool down quite a bit. 85 degrees right now in downtown Detroit, October, what is it, the third? It's the third, right? Yeah, October 3rd, and here it is, 85 degrees, 84 in Hal, low 80s in Pontiac, and look at Adrian, 87 degrees. It is so warm out there, lagging behind Mount Clemens at 78, but otherwise, everyone is in this, oh, Gross Seal as well, uh, with a little lake influence there, but most cities are in the low 80s and tomorrow will be even maybe a degree or two warmer than today. We're about two to three degrees warmer than we were yesterday, except Pontiac is four degrees warmer. High temperatures over the next four days. Look what happens tomorrow. We're in the low to mid 80s. A few cities could touch the upper 80s again tomorrow and then a cold front's going to come through on Thursday. So we'll have a rainy day Thursday, followed by cooler weather for Friday and then look at Saturday. The high is going to be a solid 10 degrees below normal, so one extreme to the other. All right, Thursday at 8 a.m., this is our next chance for rain out ahead of that frontal boundary. As we go throughout the day, you'll notice showers will become uh, more widespread, a little heavier in intensity, and then start to wind down overnight Thursday into Friday. Then we're in a dry slot, a period of drying after the cold front before uh, the low comes back and just kind of sits, it gets cut off and spins over top of us. What that means is that we are going to have a very unsettled weekend. Doesn't mean it's going to be a wash out. It just means every day this weekend and even into early next week, there is a chance for a few spotty showers. So 8 a.m. Saturday getting some rain and even at 11 a.m. and perhaps through the afternoon. So we'll be keeping an eye on that for the first half of your weekend. Well, you probably noticed the colors really starting to pop now. We'll be near peak in just one week from today and in two weeks is when we'll reach the peak and quickly, well, three weeks from now, past peak. So it goes by so fast. Temperatures tonight Tonight will stay in the low 60s with mostly clear skies. Winds will be out of the southeast at 5 miles per hour. Daytime tomorrow, sunshine gets us back to 84 degrees. In the afternoon and evening, you'll start to notice those clouds thicken up a little bit out ahead of that cold front that comes through on Thursday and brings us some rain. 74 Thursday, back to the 60s on Friday. One other thing to notice is that our lows are going to be going all the way down into the 40s for Sunday morning into next like week. 8 degrees above freezing. It is, yes. <laughs> it is. You're Working on my numbers. It. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. <laughs>